Yo guys, hey, what's up? It's your boy here, Ken, once again. Um, it's been a minute since I did the last video, probably about a week or so, I'd say. Um, gotta talk about NXT here. Um, the, the news have been filtering out, and uh, I just kind of want to wait a little bit more. Now we got the big news, I feel like, for this rebranding of NXT. So we knew for a while, for the past couple of weeks, NXT was going to get a new facelift. Um, basically, uh, a, re, uh, a refocus of things. Um, you know, word got out, or was... Um, documented that WWE were no longer going to be looking for uh, talent, international wrestlers on the circuit, but they were instead going to look for basically bodybuilders and guys that look the part, but they'll just mold into being professional wrestlers. Guys that are six foot five and chiseled. Going back to the formula of old, um, before NXT was a blimp in anybody's mind, that was WWE's formula, formula like plan for building stars, and now they're going to go back to that. Um, dated idea. Uh, this was uh, these rumors and stuff was all, but was not all, but but was confirmed at that point when Nick Khan, president of WWE, Mr. Budget Cut himself, uh, had an interview last week reaffirming all the things that we've heard for weeks that NXT would go under uh, under a, a facelift and their new uh, process now for looking for talent and new uh, stars. The, the difference between then that interview and what came out a couple of days ago was that a week ago, Nick Khan said that the new NXT will be is being produced and spearheaded by Triple H. It has now been revealed that this couple of days ago, actually, the new NXT is now going to be produced and led by Vince McMahon and Bruce Prichard and Triple H has no involvement whatsoever. He's been completely voided out of the picture in the rebranding of this NXT. Like, as a fan of that brand, this is it. This is the end. I am curious to see what they'll do, but you gotta figure, this new NXT is basically gonna be SmackDown or Raw light. If Vince McMahon is going to put his creative hands on this brand. And that's really sad to see. First and foremost, the saddest thing is, is that NXT, Vince McMahon has never took the time or effort to watch NXT to know the stars that funnel through that brand. So when those stars come from NXT and they go up to a Raw or SmackDown, Vince goes and says, who is this person? I don't know a lot about him. And you see how they they, they, they they experiment. They experiment with these guys and girls on the main roster when there's really not much tweaking that needs to be done for a, a lot of them, I, honestly. Um, some of them may need a little tweaking here and there, a little refinement, but most of them really don't. Um, but you see a lot of that because Vince doesn't watch NXT. And I've always said, you know, for as busy as Vince McMahon is, I'm not expecting him to watch NXT and and, and, and know all the storylines, all the main top stars in that brand. But at least have somebody like, uh, I don't know, Kevin Dunn or someone. He has plenty of stooges. Kevin Dunn or Michael Hayes. Somebody. Look at these guys and funnel this information to you. But instead, Vince is just kind of like out of the dark and out of the clue. And he has been for this brand and starts to come through it since its exception for like, you know, the last almost, what, eight, nine years um, that the, the, the second carnation of NXT that, that we've had. Um, so for him to be completely ignorant to NXT for as long as he has been to now he wants to step foot and have a creative process and have a say in the brand, which I mean, at the end of the day, he will have a say in it because... It's WWE, and it's his show, it's his company. But the fact that he will want to take the initiative now to take, you know, creative properties now in NXT is kind of baffling to me. And to me, I, I think it's nothing nothing of him and Bruce Pritchard having their hands on NXT. Nothing about it says good news to me. So, apparently this is going to be, uh, I think now... Uh, this new version of NXT, or this third iteration of NXT, I should say, rather, 
it's going to be taped. I don't think they're going to be doing live shows anymore. They're all going to be taped. Um, so starting on September 14th is going to be the first episode of this new NXT, or at least that's the day it's going to be taped at least. But I think that's going to be the, the premiere of this new NXT is September 14th. Um, the new logo already looks like complete utter trash. The new logo looks like something a unicorn would vomit up. Like, uh, I mean, I know at the end of the day, you know, what really matters is the product itself and how they write the talent and, and the shows, logos, and how the show looks aside. All that is, you know, secondary, but I will say this. Until the show premieres, you know, looking at stuff like the logo and things that we're hearing, definitely ain't getting people hyped up for this new rebranded NXT. That's for damn sure. Um, and and, and I, I just think it's, it's, as a wrestling fan, as a fan of that brand, it's just sad to see it go like this because you know this new NXT is going to be a Raw slash SmackDown light. You know, the, one of the cool things about NXT and what made it really, you know, one of my favorite wrestling companies or brands was the fact that even though it was under the WWE umbrella, um, NXT was kind of like its own little thing, its own little pocket. You know, Raw and SmackDown are very highly produced shows with, you know, the bright lights and all the effects. And some could say it's a little bit too overproduced. Now... That type of production quality and stuff, it looks nice on a WrestleMania or Royal Rumble or SummerSlam or any other big pay-per-view of the year. But when you see that like constantly all the time, it kind of takes some of the grittiness out of out of wrestling and really just makes it like what it is, which is a showman, you know, a theatric type of thing. Whereas NXT was kind of like this underground WWE's best kept secret. Take a page out of uh, Buddy Murphy here. WWE's best kept secret was that NXT brand because it was underground. It had good high quality production that would beat any other wrestling show on TV, but it wasn't overly produced like a Raw or a SmackDown. It was still kind of gritty. It was underground. It, it, it had a, a nice, intimate, small feel between the wrestlers and the audience. NXT was bringing in those hardcore fans, those hardcore wrestling fans, the same fans that AEW caters to, is the exact same fan base that NXT had targeted. And I don't think, I don't know if WWE realized this or if they even care, but that same audience that NXT catered to, that AEW also caters to, with this rebrand, from the sound of it, now if it if it does well, cool, great, we're, we're, we're good to go. But if this ends up being like another Raw or a SmackDown, the same fans that loved NXT for what it was, you're hand delivering them over to AEW to the competition. Um, bar none. Just just bar none. Um, I, I think it's sad. I mean, like I said, I'm all about change. I mean, one could say that NXT hasn't been the same for a while. Um, I think a lot of us can agree NXT was never the same once it got to television that the product seemed like it kind of lost some of its edge and a lot of people you feel could feel like they overstayed their welcome like in, you know your adam coles and your tomato champas um because at the end of the day nxt is a it's a feeder system it's a feeder system for wwe to pipeline you know the next generation of stars up to the raws and the smackdowns and you have guys that have been there for two three four five years not really allowing other people to come in and, you know, uh, develop, I should say, rather, and move on, as the other people move on, it kind of, it, it can hold the brand down, and I think that's hurt NXT a lot in the long term, um, c coming out of this now, with, with this whole rebrand, 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 uh, issue, but, um, despite that, though, I think the, the biggest thing we could say was that NXT, coming to television, that was really the beginning of the end for it, because once you're in TV land, you're dealing with, and you're in Vince McMahon's world at that point. NXT was fucked the moment it got put on TV, because then at that point, it was all games for Vince McMahon, 
to put his hands on it. And look, Vince could have put his hands on it too on, on the WWE Network. That's not what I'm saying. But my point is, is that NXT was cool because NXT was on the network, kept completely separate from the other two shows. But once NXT made that transition over to television to try to stifle uh, NXT's growth, that's when they're fucked up because not only did they lose to NXT and did not stop NXT's growth, which is a good thing, I'm glad. Um, but that didn't work in that brand's favor because Vince, I'm pretty much sure, looked at that and says, hmm, yeah, these guys ain't cutting it. So that hurt it. And like I said, and then by it being on television, that that was that's Vince McMahon's arena. <laughs> you know, so at that point, it was just a matter of time. Um, until he got his hands on that brand. And looks like he's going to have his hands on this brand, all over this brand. Him and Bruce Pritchard. So, sad to see the end of an era, but, you know, I'm, I'm curious to see, though, what the outcome of this would be. What new stars they could potentially pipeline through this. We'll see. You guys let me know what you think about this in the box below. Do yourself a favor, hit that like button, and subscribe. Peace out.